Hello all, it's Marsha going solo today to tell you a little bit about how you make a wet mount slide. So remember in the last video we were talking about um, prepared slides and wet mount slides. This prepared slide has the label on it, it's glued on there. These are really permanent that we have in the lab to use semester to semester. So these are the ones we need to make sure um, end up being saved and not thrown in the garbage. So I want to show you what we would do if we have live samples, which we will here coming up in lab three. Um, so what you'll need to prepare to make a wet mount slide is first clean slides, cover slips to protect the specimen, distilled water, basically purified water, and a stain of some kind. In this case I'm going to use potato so I will use iodine for the stain. You may also find forceps or what you would probably call tweezers um, to help out with that as well as paper towel. So we're going to use a potato today. Hopefully I have a thin enough slice. You will remove one slide okay, and these slides may be a little bit dirty so feel free to wipe them down with a Kim wipe so that um, all the oils and stuff are out them and then make sure to hold them from the side like I am here so notice I have um, I'm grabbing that from the sides of the um, slide as opposed to pinching it right on the glass that'll leave fingerprints and goo all over it that can interfere with what's going on on the slide so in order to make the slide the first thing you're going to need is some water. So grab a little bit of water and just one drop should be sufficient right in the center of the slide. It will spread out a little bit depending on the slide that you have. And then you'll need to put your specimen on it. So I have a razor blade here where I have some potato, hopefully nice thin pieces of little tiny potato um, that the cover slip can lay nicely on. So then you'll need one of these little cover slips. Again, try to um, avoid touching it too much with your hands. Um, and they're always going to have these little annoying paper things on them. Or some of them even have covers of plastic. So um, get that um, by itself and we will put that onto the slide. So the way that you'll do this is to take the cover slip and line it up at a 90 degree angle on the slide. And then you're going to close it, kind of like you're closing a book in the slowest possible way you can. Okay, and as you do that, you will get as close to the slide as you can and you will drop it. As you drop it, you should see the fluid move underneath the cover slip. And because mine is just a little bit too thick, I got a few too many air bubbles going on in here. Um, and that's one of the things you would like to avoid is to have those air bubbles, but that's better than the last one I made. So I'm going with it. Okay, so you can see the sample in there and you can also see those little air bubbles. Um, so now a lot of times the specimens that we have are not going to be easily seen because they're clearish kind of cells. Um, and the potato you can kind of see underneath the microscope, um, but it is really nice to see the definition. So with potatoes, they have a lot of starch in them. Iodine and starch mixed together gives us a purplish color. So we're going to take the iodine and we're going to place it right here along the side of our cover slip. And then what you can do if you need a little bit of help with the iodine um, is to take that paper towel on like the other side from where you put in the, um, the iodine and kind of pull some of that through and over. And as you do that, you will see that the specimen changes a little bit of color and it's probably going to be a little hard to see um, here, but you can kind of see it starting to turn purple-ish right there in the center. Um, that indicates that we have a nice stain that's or reaching to the potato. Now you're going to use plenty of other kinds of stains. You may not be able to see them. That's one of the reasons that we let the stain sit on the slide for at least a minute, usually two minutes, just to make sure that that stain actually makes it into the potato. So because I'm tipping it, it's having a little bit of a difficulty um, reaching all the way to the potato, but that capillary action of the paper towel will help to pull out some of that extra fluid and give you even a more stable slide anyway. Okay, now these are basically one-time use. You will use them to draw and explore uh, the different types of cells and then we will place them in the glass waste so that they are not saved forever and ever.